Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new in the world of Android development. This is episode number 46. Let's start talking about the changes for ratings and reviews in Google Play. Google Play is making ratings more personalized and indicative of the experience each individual user can expect with new changes coming soon. From November 2021, users on phones will start to see ratings specific to their registered country. And early in 2022, users on other form factors such as tablets, Chromebooks, and wearables will start to see ratings specific to the device that they are on. Google Play has also made enhancements to Play Console to help developers understand their ratings and reviews, especially across form factors, device type insights, more flexible date and period selections, and easier data downloading. The Mad Skill series keeps going on. The series on performance has come to an end with the usual live Q&A session, and a new series has just started. This time it's about health. We already have two episodes out there. In the first episode, I introduced Dependency Injection, or DI for short, and health by comparing it to Manual DI to show you how Hilt is simplifying your app by removing boilerplate DI code. In the second episode, Eric Chang talks about testing best practices, how to approach testing when using Hilt, the different APIs, and some tips and tricks to optimize your build and get the most out of testing with Hilt. Next up, articles. Megan Mehta wrote about Blockstore, a new API that allows your app to store user credentials that it can later retrieve to re-authenticate users on a new device. The blog post explains why, when, and how you could use Blockstore. By the way, Jetpack's Window Manager library is already in beta, and Pietro Maggi wrote a blog post about the new APIs included in the library and how to use them in your app, namely Window Layout Info that contains the display features of a window, such as whether the window encompasses a fork or hinge, folding feature that enables you to monitor the faulty state of a foldable device to determine device postures. And window metrics, that provides the current window metrics or the overall display metrics. What else? Widgets got awesome improvements in Android 12. Read Murat Jenner's blog post to learn about advanced features to make your widget more interactive, easier to configure, and provide a better UI experience. You might remember that prior to Android 12, reconfiguring a widget meant that users had to delete their existing widget and add it again with the new configuration. Well, that's not the case anymore. On a different topic, Duolingo saw their performance and developer productivity degrade due to scalability issues in their app architecture. In this blog post by Katerina Semenova, you can read about how they were able to solve these performance problems and regain developer productivity by refactoring to a model view view model architecture and using Dagger and Hilt for dependency injection. Related to that, great app experiences are great for business. App excellence is something we want to help all developers achieve. This blog post by Jacob Lerbron talks about internal best practices your company can follow to get an awesome user experience in your app. Disclaimer, this might take a cross-functional approach with engineering, design, product, and business teams working toward a common goal. Not only did we publish articles, but also videos. A new series of videos about accessibility has started. The first video by Karen Chang introduces the series that demonstrates how to build Android apps with accessibility in mind. In the second video, Shailen Tule shows you the different configurations and features you can find in the accessibility settings and why a person may use them. Lastly, there has been a new episode of the Android Developers Backstage posted since the last Now in Android. Episode 173 covers more benchmarking. In this episode, Chet, Roman, and Tor talk with Chris Craig and Rahul from the Toolkit Performance team about the recently released Macro Benchmark 2 and library. Listen to it to learn how the benchmark libraries work, how to use them, how they relate to the system tracing, and more. 
And that's it for this time. You can find all the links to the content I mentioned in the Now in Android episode 46 blog post in Medium. And to get notified about future episodes, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Android Developers YouTube channel. Talk to you soon. Bye.